Red Cat Racing has joined the mini crawler scene and they have come out swinging. This is the brand new Ascent 18, essentially a scaled down version of their extremely capable Everest Ascent. Like its 10th scale brother, the Ascent 18 is a performance focused RTR with an LCG chassis, oil filled shocks, portal axles, and much, much more. Red Cat has also priced this thing to sell with a launch price of $99.99. That is temporary and the price will go up to a permanent price of $119.99. Red Cat has also released a full suite of accessories and upgrades for this truck that are going to drop at the same time that it's released. I'm super excited to get into this thing. So we're going to open up the box, we're going to check out the truck, we're going to go over the key features. We'll put it on the setup table, we'll hit the indoor course, and then we'll go hit the rocks and see how it does in the real world. If the Ascent 18 is anything like its big brother, we are in for a treat. So let's open this thing up and check it out. Here's the packaging, very small compact box, nice artwork on here, lots of pictures and graphics, highlights some of the key features, also shows the three colors that this comes in, so it comes in this graphite gray, red, and a blue. Inside the box you get this quick start guide, you get some extra stickers, you can see in here these actually can go over the fender flares, so you can color up your fender flares. You get a USB charger and you get some body posts in here as well. The Ascent 18 comes ready to run, and you get this familiar looking 2.4 gigahertz Fly Sky radio. This is the same one that came on the V2 SCX 24s. Got all your trim and dual rate adjustments here. You will need to supply four AA batteries for the radio that does not come with it. Let's get to the good stuff. Here is the Ascent 18. It looks just like a scaled down version of the Everest Ascent, the 10th scale Ascent. This is a minimalistic Lexan body. We got stickers over your windows, no interior on this. Stickers for the front for the grill and the headlights. Same thing in the rear. Stickered taillights. We do get this Red Cat badge in the back. It's got stubby high clearance bumpers front and rear. We've got white plastic one inch wheels wrapped in these 60 millimeter, I believe they're 60 millimeter, aggressive tires on here. These are glued on, these are not a beadlock wheel. Opening up the body, let's check this out. So this is very cool. So it's on a hinge. So it's got a, a little lever in the back that you're just gonna turn this and then the body opens up on a hinge. Access is super easy, and if you want to take the body off, again, just slide the body forward, the whole thing comes off very, very simply. Underneath here, you can see we've got metal frame rails. We've got a decent amount of shock placements here for some customization and tuning. Speaking of shocks, we've got big bore oil-filled shocks with aluminum caps here. We have our two-in-one receiver and ESC combo in the back. This is water resistant, it is not waterproof. Battery is here in the middle. Situated kind of down and at an angle, trying to bring that weight down as far as they could here. We've got the brush motor mated to the single speed transmission. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? 
Up front, we've got a metal geared servo situated on the axle. Speaking of the axles, these are portal axles front and rear. Big ground clearance here. These are nice looking portals. C-hubs are pretty large in the front with the angular design going out to the wheels. Hopefully they shouldn't catch up too much. We'll see when we get it out on the rocks. These are full metal gears. We've got metal ring and pinion gear in the diffs. We've got metal portal gears out by the axles. Also bearings throughout this, no bushings. Underneath here, we've got a four link suspension front and rear. We got a flat skid. We've got these nice boat sliders on the sides. We've got composite links with metal pivot hardware. The truck is ready to run, like I said. We get this 750 milliamp 2S LiPo battery. It's got the JST connector. Let's do some size comparisons here before we get to the setup table. So this is the 18th scale. So when we put up against the TRX 4M, here it is against the TRX 4M Bronco. Now my Bronco has been modified, so it's gonna sit a little bit differently, but you can see from a size perspective, the ascent much more compact. The body is much more narrow and tight. The wheelbase is almost identical though. The ascent sits up pretty high though, especially for a performance crawler, which makes me wonder how this is gonna do. You can see the height from this thing. The portal axles raises it up quite a bit. Let's look at it against an SCX24. So this is against the Jeep Wrangler SCX24. You can see not a whole lot bigger than the 24 scale. I think this would be, actually, let me get a Gladiator. This would be very similar to the Gladiator. Here it is against the SCX24 Jeep Gladiator. These two look pretty comparable. The Ascent is definitely bigger. Again, wheelbase pretty much the same on these. Overall length, I actually think the Gladiator is longer. Interesting, these things are closer than I thought they would be. We're talking performance RTRs. Let's check it out against the CR18P Evo Pro. Again, the Evo Pro, not stock, but not heavily modified either. I've put different tires and wheels on it, but they're actually smaller than what would come on it. The CR18P Evo, this is also an 18 scale. So you can see these two are pretty comparable as far as size goes. When the Evo Pro first came out, I compared this to the Red Cat Ascent, the 10 scale Ascent. But now that we've got the real miniature one right here, we can do an apples to apples. But you can see that the Evo Pro sits much lower here. Again, wheelbase very, very close. Very interesting to see these two together. I'm really excited to see how this thing does on the performance tests and on the course. Here we are on the four corner scale. This is with the battery installed. So we've got a 50-50 weight distribution on this, both forward and backward and left to right. Total weight of 438 grams. I was hoping to see a little bit more forward bias on this, but we'll see how it performs. All right, let's check out the RTI. Ramp travel index, we'll see how the articulation is. See about 14 on the RTI. Now let's try the side hill. 30, 40, 45, oh, we lost it about 47, I would say, on the side hill. All right, let's try the vertical. 40, 45, 50, 55, starting to lift a little bit. Oh, it's a 57 on the vertical. First run with the Ascent 18, here we go. Oh, it's fast. It's high geared. Oh, look at that, it looks fantastic though. Easy to control though, but it is much higher geared than I was expecting. You can hear the whine from the ESC. That's definitely noticeable. Good turning radius on there. It feels just like a stock TRX-4M. The way the ESC engages, the noise it makes, how that motor behaves, it feels just like it. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I can tell you already, I do wish that it was lower geared. I was hoping for some better slow crawl out of it, but Power delivery is nice and smooth. Let me get those tires to hook up. Plenty of wheel speed, able to bump up through there. It's got a pretty solid drag brake on it. The height from the chassis underneath there, getting us over that log very easy. Probably could have made that turn. 
Look at the ground clearance from those axles. Huge ground clearance under this thing. Some control there in that descent. We're going to head into Mini Moab now. We're going to hit our challenge lines. Able to roll right through the gatekeeper there, no problem with that wheel speed. Whoa, I'm teetering right there. And despite the higher gearing that I would like, I'm able to control it pretty well. This ESC's got nice power delivery. Get to get it to bite. There we go. Let's so get these tires to stick. Oh. There we go. Nice. That was good. Try some side hill. Going to go across the chute. We had decent side hill on the setup table. Let's see how it does here. Tires slip. Slip in a little bit, no flex in them. Able to stick pretty well. Oh, save it there in the end, it was good. Let's go up the chute. I wanna keep an eye out for torque twists, see how this thing does on the uphill. Looks pretty planted. I didn't see a lot of twists there. All right, now Hell's Gate here. Off to a rough start there, understeer right off the side and try again. Oh, these tires are not gripping. It's surprising as we made it up the escalator pretty easy. There we go. Getting a ton of wheel hop here. Not getting the bite that I need. Oh. Oh no. One more try. We do the three try rule on an obstacle. Let's see if we can get it. Come on, little ascent. I believe in you. I'm gonna channel your big brother here. wheel hopping all over the place. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any further. I don't dare bump it because I think I'm just going to fly right off here. Well, checkers or wreckers, let's go for it. Oh! So we didn't get Hell's Gate, which is a bummer. But we do have some tuning we could do to this chassis. I don't know if I could tweak the suspension height or the placement. Got multiple positions on the chassis to do that. Might be worth trying. here good departure and approach angle on this truck getting us through that section pretty clean that tight turning radius again I like it I'm excited to get this out on the rocks there we go all right let's get this thing outside and go hit the rocks all right, my friends, here we are with the Mini Ascent, the Ascent 18. What better place to try this thing out than Crawler Heaven? It's gonna be a tough one for the 18th scale on the 10th scale lines, but let's see how this thing goes. As I noted with the indoor testing, I was really hoping for more slow speed off the bottom, a little, little less wheel speed. It feels so much like a TRX 4M, which kind of gives me hope. Nice. Those portal axles right there, getting us over there. As I was saying, it kind of gives me hope because I'm wondering if the TRX 4M gearing and or motors will fit this. You could slap a low speed set of gears in here and it'd be fantastic. But we're going to give it a shot as it is. Still have good control on the low end. 
Portal Axle's doing a great job out here on Bicycle Bridge. I'm in a tough spot here. Oh, I wasn't able to recover. Looks fantastic. Love the blue with the white wheels. So reminiscent of its big brother. Coming down here. Strong drag brake. Feels really good. Lots of confidence in those drop-offs in the downhills. Steering's feeling good out here on the rocks. You can see I've gotten in some precarious situations. Haven't had any issues with the steering. Feels nice and strong. Despite the high gearing, still able to crawl through there. Take some nice strategic lines and stick them really well. Slipping a little bit. Tires are slippery out here. I am noticing that truck feels fairly top heavy out here on these rocky sections. I'm flipping it over more so than I thought I would. It is tall with the portal axles and the big tires, so I'm feeling that out here. Hopefully we can sort that out with some weight on the bottom and get some brass upgrades for this thing. Oh man, I have made it up this thing a bunch of times and we're gonna do it again. There we go. There, there it is. Putting that wheel speed to use. You can hear those big lugs on these tires struggling to grip here. That soft compound is nice. I gotta get some more conformity in these tires. Again, hopefully you're getting some weight down around the portals and the wheels will help. I'm in a tight spot here so we can get out. Oh! To give it some help there. That was an axle breaker right there. That big tire is stuck in a hole. Lots of those around here. But it didn't break. I looped it out a couple times. The axles held on. It's that top heaviness, I'm having to be real careful because it wants to flip on me. Oh, slid off the slide there. A hard time sticking these lines. There we go. We're making it though. This is a tough one for the little trucks. I'm trying to know my favorite sections here for the big trucks. Again, lots of holes for these things to fall into. Where the portals are going to help but the big tires are going to make it difficult but let's see if we can navigate through here and getting that lift oh i'm stuck in there yeah, pretty impressive that steering is strong there we go having a lot of fun out here with the mini ascent this is a tough tough spot for the little trucks so i always have to kind of level set my expectations but some of the things this thing's able to do, so impressive for right out of the box. Good approach angle there. Nice. We can navigate this. Did a good job with the wheelbase on this truck. I think it's got a really functional, appropriate wheelbase for performance here. Oh, that was nasty. Able to navigate through there.
That was good. That was a tough one. Let's see if I can get through this really nasty section here. Those high clearance bumpers get me through. It was nice. For a box stock truck, super affordable price. Love what Red Cat has done here with the Ascent 18. Great performance for an RTR and budget price tag. And that was gnarly. Get out of this hole. Oh, it does it. Nice. I was saying great performance out of this thing. Just like its big brother, super impressed with the Mini Ascent. Like any RTR, it is not without its faults out of the box, but just so impressive what you get for the low cost of entry with the Red Cat Ascent here at the Ascent 18. Great in stock form, great platform to build upon. So I'm gonna wrap this up here, guys. Had a lot of fun with the Ascent today. Stay tuned as I'm going to start building this thing out. I got a whole bunch of mods for this thing that Red Cat has released along with the truck. We're going to start upgrading it to see what we can get out of it for performance. Got high expectations for this thing. It's going to be fun. So I'll catch you back at the bench. Final thoughts on the Ascent 18. This is a great RTR and an awesome first effort from Red Cat Racing to get into the mini crawler segment. The features like the portal axles, the oil filled shocks, those boat sliders underneath all translate into great performance out on the rocks but it doesn't punch above its weight in the same way that its big brother does. I feel like in stock form, it's a little top heavy. I think that has to do with just the, the ride height from the portals combined with the bigger tires. The 50-50 weight distribution makes it prone to tipping one way or the other, and the high gearing makes it difficult to crawl and navigate through those tight, tricky lines. The ESC does a good job delivering that power pretty smoothly, but I feel like it's just too high geared out of the box. None of that is to say that this is bad. On the contrary, this is a great RTR and it's gonna hang with pretty much any other 18th scale on the market, but it isn't quite there where it's gonna trade blows with the CR18P Evo Pro, for example. But lucky for us, Red Cat Racing has released a full suite of upgrades available for this thing that are gonna drop the same time this truck does. So I will be going at this with the upgrades that are available and we're gonna see what we can get out of it for performance. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. But in box stock form, there is a ton of value here. Launch price on this is $99.99 until May 1st, 2024. Then it goes up to the full retail price of $119.99. But an all-in price of $120 to get performance like this and features like this and a great base to build upon, this is an awesome truck. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Ascent 18? And I'll put the link in the description down below as well if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.